Hello and welcome to the interview here on France 24. Our guest today is Yaria Lapid, who is the leader of Israel's Yesh Atid centrist party, who was previously part of a coalition government under Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as finance minister, but he's now in the opposition. He's also a member of uh, the Knesset. Welcome uh, to the show. Thank We're you. obviously going to uh, talk about uh, what some are calling the knife uh, intifada that we've seen in, in recent weeks. Uh, Israel is vowing to defend itself against against a so-called new wave of terrorism. Palestinians are saying this is the result of years of frustration, Israeli occupation, and the death of the so-called uh, peace process. What is happening right now? Well, first of all, if I may, I want to start by offering my consolations to, to and, and the people of Israel, to, to France, about this horrible, horrible accident uh, that happened that took the life of 42 uh, French people. Now. Uh, let me uh, um, dispute a bit with the premise of what you said. I, uh, the Palestine, even the Palestinians are not saying that this current wave of violent events has to do with the occupation or the lack of peace process. This is a, a, a religious Islamic fanatics who are killing people because they think something has changed, somebody has changed the status quo in the Temple Mountain, which is not true. In Jerusalem. This, in the Jerusalem. Holy site. Yes, the holy site in Jerusalem, which is not true. I'm telling you this coming from the opposition. I'm not part of the government. The government says so, the prime minister says so, the and you president agree. says so. And, and I agree and I'm part, I'm in Knesset, I'm part of the security committee of Knesset, I'm telling you, nobody tried to change the status quo. This is a legacy of the Palestinians saying, you know, it's a whole pro part of a process of self-radicalization of young Muslims who are watching something horrible, terrible lies in the social networks, and this is inflamed by imams in the mosques who are telling them the Jews are trying to do something terrible to our holy places. And then comes President Abbas and gives a speech and says the Jews cannot dirty with the filthy feet, this is the term you use, filthy feet, the Temple Mountain, and the result is people who are stabbing other people in the streets. But uh, you said this is inspired by Islamists. So you're yes. saying this is not Palestinian this is not, traditional... No. This uh, is something else. Or wave of violence? This is something else. Why? This, this, Why not? Why because aren't... because this is what this what happened. This is what the intelligence showed. This is what they are saying. It's not like I'm saying something about them. You know, they are not saying about themselves. The truth of the matter is, these are Islamic fanatics. The same people who beheaded the policeman in 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 London. The same people who are beheading uh, everyone but, but in no Iraq. But no group linked to ISIS or others has claimed this, responsibility. This is, listen, this is. Islam, it is, but you know what, it's not even Islam. I don't want to insult the religion of Islam. This is the religion of Islam is something else. This is a terrible twist of Islam. This is a fanatic, fundamentalist version of Islam that tells people go out and kill Jews because they are Jews. The only reason they are going there is not because they are suppressed, not because somebody is not taking the garbage on time in East Jerusalem. The only reason they are doing it is they say we have knives and we are going to kill Jews because they are Jews, because we hate Jews, because we are. it's a new form of, of uh, fundamentalist uh, Islam. Aren't you distorting uh, the reality that it's Palestinians who are fed up with the Israel the occupation well, and wants to know. have a state and see no state inside. I, I know the word media has a theory, but what you are saying now has nothing to do with reality. It's time for the Western media to grow up. This is Islam. This is Islam killing Jews because they're Jews, killing fr uh, Christians because they're Christian. Again, this is not Islam as it's an, a twisted, terrible interpretation of Islam, not what it is. I mean, but this is people who are fundamentalists who are killing the same way ISIS is doing, the same way like Al-Qaeda was doing before them. This is, they want to kill Jews because they're Jews. This is the only reason to do it, for religious reasons. I want to get to the Israeli uh, response. Uh, many officials have made uh, some comments about the necessity to uh, be proactive, let's mm -hmm. put it this way, in terms of response. I'm just going to read what uh, you uh, declare. Don't hesitate. Even at the start of an attack, shooting to kill is correct. If someone is brandishing a knife, shoot him. It's part of Israel's deterrence. Isn't this a call for vigilante justice? and that this shouldn't be happening what do you in think, a state where there's a rule of law. Say, I wanted to say, what do you think the French leadership will say? What would you 
say, as a French person, as somebody who lives, you live in Paris? I do. What would you do if people were running around in Paris with big knife trying to kill as many people as they can? Would you think, would you tell the police they should shoot to kill in order to prevent... But it's not the police, the, it's the citizens it's, that well, you I'm, seem to listen, be... Listen, if somebody has a weapon in license, we were, we were very keen on this. If somebody has a licensed weapon, meaning he passed all the regula regulation needed and he sees something horrible like this happen, yes, he should kill. You know why? Because if he won't kill the terrorists who's doing it, 30 other people will be killed. But we've seen this case of the Eritrean being uh, killed so, in error. Then there's a, there was a mob attack on him. We've seen an is, Israeli killed in error. Which uh, is don't terrible. you feel any responsibility think, no, for this? This has nothing to do with each other. You know what? People can tell right and wrong. Shooting somebody who's trying to kill as many Jews as he can because they're Jewish is, a, is the right thing to do. Going in, the, a mob going after an innocent bystander the way they did is wrong. They should be prosecuted. They should be brought to trial. We are a law-abiding nation. But aren't it's you tragedy. creating an atmosphere that is conducive no, to those people, excesses? You know what? There is, you have to differentiate. The people who are stabbing and the people who are being stabbed, the ones who are creating the atmosphere are the people who are coming to innocent Israelis and trying to kill them with knife, trying to behead them, trying to stab them. They are the ones who are causing, accusing the victim in the atmosphere the murderer is causing is just the wrong way of looking at this. The U.S. has also said the response was excessive. The U.N. has uh, condemned it. France has condemned you know it. What? Many other countries. I'm, I'm, I'm re-asking you. What would the French police do if people were running down the streets of Paris stabbing innocent bystanders? So you think the, the world is biased in its I criticism think, against think, Israel? I think we had enough of the fact that people are blaming the victim and the victim's here are the Israelis for what is happening. Why don't you blame the Muslims who are killing our children in the street just because they are Jewish? Why are you blaming so much uh, the Palestinian leader, President uh, Mahmoud Abbas? He's called for a pacific movement. Do you think he's telling one he... thing publicly and the opposite no, in I'm private, saying, I... like me, many people have accused his predecessor Yaraf, Yasser Arafat of doing. I think he's doing. saying one thing in, in English and the other in Arabic. I think in so Arabic... So he's lying. I th of course. First of all, what, I've to, uh, what I quoted to you of him saying, it is, it's a quote, it's, not, it's a public quote. Saying, but then he also he called for calm. take away the filthy feet from the Temple Mountain, like but, we changed the status quo. But he called for alive. calm as well. He also may, had a press conference claiming that the Jews have killed uh, in cold blood a 13-year-old boy that was alive in the hospital eating chocolate at the time. These are false accusations, and nobody's asking him why is he lying. Is there a way out of this? Well, that's, that's a very different question. But it's an important one. Yes, it's the most important one. On the long term, it's the most important one. Listen, Israel has two possible strategies now. We can either say we realized uh, we, we are going to a binational state, as the far right and the far left are saying. We, I mean, it's not, it, we're and an increasing annex, number of Palestinians. An increasing number of Palestinians. I think it's a threat. It's an existential threat, and we should go to strategy number two, which is to separate from the Palestinians, go to the two-state solution, uh, but on a regional framework, which I've been pushing, part of what I've talked today with Flo Mr. Fabius, of what I talked with uh, um, uh, Minister but this Hammond. 20 years of no, negotiations you know, on this issue, no result are. whatsoever. Actually, listen, there have been, uh, you're right about one thing. Since the Oslo Accords, there have been 11 rounds of bilateral talks. They all failed miserably. I was inv involved in the last one as part of the government. We should change the framework of thinking. We should go regional. We should talk with all the players involved, the Saudis, the Egyptians, the Jordanians. We should have a regional summit and start working within regional framework about a separation from the Palestinians. But what we need is to separate from them. I think the majority of Israelis still agree to the fact that we have to be... A, we, we cannot try to absorb... So you're not talking really five. about the two-state solution, you're talking about a separation. This I'm means division about, of yes, Jerusalem, the, for instance. The, no, it doesn't. Well, it and does. no Israeli in his right mind will agree to the and division no of Jerusalem. no Palestinian in his right one like, mind no, as well. Uh, well. How many French people you know who will uh, agree to the division of Paris to, I don't know, give a quarter to the Belgium. There are no historical to claims Germans. on Paris. So. Okay, there's, there's no historical claim on the fact that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, the historic capital of Israel, in the whole, and has been for 3,000 years, which is way before Paris was established. So what I'm telling you, but you know what? I don't want to negotiate here on, on, on uh, national TV. We should go and negotiate with, where negotiations Is Mr. Abbas a partner for peace? I think it, listen, 
This is not a partner for peace. We are not, not looking for a peace. We are looking for an agreement which will allow us to separate. The peace part of it And not shoot at each other. When, and not shoot at each other. The peace part of it. Peace has to do with good neighborhood. Get good neighborhood, good neighbors. This will come out probably from our children. What we need now, the Palestinians should have their own state on one side of the fence, and we should have our own state on the other side of the fence. And the Israeli army has to be able to protect our security everywhere because the security of the people of Israel is the one thing that is most important to separate from the Palestinians. Last question. In how much time could we see this happening? Do you well, really think, given the current situation, the current well, atmosphere, the current hatred, that it's not a wishful well, it's, thinking? It's, no, it's not a wishful thinking. This is doable. I've sat with the Saudis. I'm talking with, with Arab leaders. This is doable. We're putting the infrastructure now, us meaning the Israeli opposition. I don't want to say anything about the government when I'm on foreign soil. I made it into a rule never to criticize the government on foreign soil. But of course, what you're hearing is, here is an alternative. The alternative of the people of Israel, I think it's the majority of Israelis who, who understand now more than ever that it's time for us to separate from the Palestinians. Okay. Thank you very much, Yair Lapid, for coming on the France 24 set.